are amazing. <laughs> ben, you very clearly have a dance background. Uh, Dale mentioned that it's ballet. It was gorgeous. Um, can you just talk a little bit about how you integrate a dance like ballet with a prop that you wouldn't really expect to go together? <laughs> um, I think that Dale's introduction put it very well, that I came to this trying to do something very different, something that I haven't seen here, and something that I kind of wanted to. I wanted to see a dance piece that just happened to use fire props. And so I started with this rendition of Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap, and I just started by dancing. And I was trying to be as, as conscious as possible about the movement vocabulary that I was using. And then I tried to see if I could organically integrate, well, I don't know, the advantage of clubs or torch boys that you don't have to, you're not beholden to gravity. And infinite upstalls are a thing. <laughs> ah, so if I, if I need to do an extension, I can, I can hold that. And from there, I can see if I can move into something a little bit more boy-like or technical and see if I can grow it. But I wanted to start from the dance and then come to the spinning afterwards. Hi. Hi. So for something that you said wasn't going to be very technical, I'm actually uh, I'm really impressed by the amount of tech that you stuck in there. Beautiful oh. body tracers, caps, etc. cetera. Um, here's, here's my question, being as how I uh, wrestle with this and what I write, too. Uh, when it comes to integrating your tech in with your dance, uh, do you find the tech that can be best integrated into the body movements that you're already searching for, or do you tailor body movements to the tech you want to achieve? Uh... I think the very, no, the second time I actually tried to put props and spinning to this, I ended up doing the, uh, <laughs> it was five minutes of body tracing. Um, and I decided that was ridiculous. And so I just, <laughs> I, I kind of picked arbitrary parts of the music um, in phrases to say, well, I can probably dance through this with body tracing for eight counts. I can probably dance through this with caps for another eight counts. I can probably do a different cap for another eight counts. And part of it was the organic process, what does it feel? And part of it was just setting hard guidelines for myself. This, then that, then this. And then flowing through it all afterwards. Thanks. Thank you. We have two this time. Be aware. We high tech. Ah. So um, representing the theatrical side of your piece is where my question is coming from. Um, really taking more into account the audience. So as you're putting this together, when you're doing things, you know, a lot of your movements were facing forward or had a very sideways movement facing the audience. What did you find most challenging when, or when did you, if you brought, you know, start thinking about the audience and where they were, what was, did you find most challenging and what do you wish you knew six months ago um, that you now know because you've gone six months through this process of putting this together? Um, about incorporating the audience and, and being aware of them. Um, I actually started writing this piece specifically for this class. Um, so in that sense, I cheated. Um, <laughs> because I knew exactly where you would all be. I knew exactly that I would have this wrong. <laughs> um, uh, and, and I was able to plan from the very beginning with this arrangement in mind. Um, and since I've been on this stage before, I was able to also plan for the lighting. Uh, I was able to... I, I don't know. I but, feel like I've defeated your question almost. Well, no, no, this is great. When you say that you plan for it, what, what did you plan? plan? Yeah, well, if somebody uh, else here was going to put together a piece like this, let's learn from what you went through and what you learned. Uh, I wanted the, the point of this, and I still can't, even having just done it, uh, say this with a straight face, I wanted to do a high art fire performance piece. Um, yeah. uh, so, I... I um, so I wanted to actually make all of you as uncomfortable as possible <laughs> by specifically asking Dale to request that no one applaud or clap in the middle of it. I wanted this to have a mood, and part of that mood I wanted it to be, I'm going through a, a journey, an emotional journey, and I wanted to incorporate you, but I didn't want it to be about you. I wanted to invite you into what I was experiencing. Um, and so I wanted it to be not specific glances at people, but sort of taking in the audience as a whole to set a more ambient, inviting, come, come along, sort of mood. And you, did you start with that as your intention and then you did something? You said one minute. 
Did you? <laughs> um, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.